Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use SCCM to deploy and manage updates in your Windows Enterprise. So, what you see before me is the typical WSUS screen, and I've configured it to download only critical updates. So, if I go to Options and then go to Products and Classifications, you will see that I've only set the critical updates to be downloaded. Okay, so and I've also selected the products that I would like to download critical updates for, which are which is Windows XP. So then, if I go to updates, you'll only find critical updates. that have been downloaded and approved okay so when you're using SCCM you don't need to come to this interface to approve updates or do anything in fact it is recommended that when you're using SCCM to deploy Windows updates in your enterprise that you simply install the WSUS and don't configure anything. All the configuration will be done from the SCCM console. The first thing that you want to do is sync your update repository with the WSUS database. And this is done by right clicking the update repository and selecting synchronize. And you can also view this particular log file to ensure that synchronization is taking place and that there are no errors. Well, I've already run this tool and it listed all the critical updates that have been already downloaded by my WSUS server. So, I'm going to do the same process again, but this time I'm going to start from scratch with the security updates. So as you can see currently I only have critical updates in my update repository. So your actual configuration is done from the client configuration software update point component rather than doing your configuration from the WS console you can do your configuration settings from this interface here so you right click on software update point component go to properties and you can manage your WSUS from this dialog box for example we can select our classifications here and we can see that we also want to install security updates and we can also select the products we can select sync settings now this is important for your primary site your primary site should always synchronize from the Microsoft Windows update website and it should always be set as an active software update point on the site server for your primary site and this is also important the port number and SSL port number that is used by your WSUS server this is how often a synchronization will occur software updates can be synchronized on a scheduled basis and this synchronizes with the Microsoft update website and also the languages that you would like to download your updates on so in this case I have just added in addition to critical updates security updates to our database 
select ok then we can right click update repository and run synchronization so for now we have critical updates if we go to our log using the trace utility we can open up the sync manager log so our WSCS has begun synchronizing updates from the Microsoft website and all security updates are being processed Now while that is occurring, if you go to the actual WSS console and we go to classifications, you will notice that the security category has already been selected. Since we don't need to manage our WSS configuration from this console, we can do everything from the SCCM console. Okay, so we see that security updates has been selected here via our configuration from the SCCM console. So if we go to the synchronization tab, we see that the synchronization is actually running with the Microsoft Update website to synchronize the security updates that we've selected. So you can see that by configuring your updates from configuration manager from the SCCM manager console you don't need to go into your WSUS console everything can be done from your configuration manager console but as you can see the WSUS engine is still what is being used by SCCM